The Bitcoin infinite money glitch has been revealed. Every once in a while, the matrix lets you peer inside. Well, today is such a day. There is no top to Bitcoin. And in this video, I'll explain exactly what the Bitcoin infinite money glitch is. I also have some big news for you regarding the ninth Bitcoin ETF application, which has been filed over in the USA. My name's Lark. And every day I make videos about investing, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell if that is a topic you want to learn more about. By the way, if you want to earn a safe and simple passive income on your cryptocurrencies, then you need to get yourself a BlockFi interest account. You can earn 6% on your first Bitcoin, 5.25% on your Ethereum, and 8.6% on your dollars. Use the link down below in the description to start your account and you can get up to 250 bucks worth of free Bitcoin, which is sweet. Free Bitcoin is definitely sweet. So let's start off our conversation today. Just take a quick look at the charts, see what is cracking with our ascending triangle. And what has been cracking is that Bitcoin has just hit a new freaking all time high. I will never get tired of seeing Bitcoin new all-time highs. Always incredibly exciting to see. Bitcoin right now is just raging. It's a big, bold, beautiful green candle. It's been kind of ranging between 62,500, got up to 62,800 uh, just a couple minutes ago here. This is a great breakout from this ascending triangle pattern. Now, this ascending triangle, it is a continuation pattern in an uptrending market so we can see the buyers just kept stepping up the pressure and stepping up the pressure here and here and here every time we got those big dips the buyers came back in. this is an incredibly impactful pattern that we're watching here because this is actually a pattern that goes all the way back to the middle of february we've been two months now basically waiting for this breakout to come Obviously, we still do need this to confirm. We got about 14 hours from the time of recording this video, as you can see here, before this daily candle does close. Hopefully, the momentum keeps up. Hopefully, we see that volume really starting to pick up to come in here and back this up, and that the buyers will really commit to this and help push the market higher. We can also see today that Ethereum did hit a new all time high as well. So, the Ethereum USD pair also having a nice little breakout here as you can see from our previous moon math it did come out from that ascending triangle came back down for a pretty strong retest basically hitting the launch pad here and now it is just going up 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 heading towards our technical target around two thousand seven hundred dollars so very very exciting times buyers just keep stepping up the pressure especially for bitcoin we have seen some really big bitcoin purchases which is the next chart we're going to turn to here yesterday around 770 million dollars worth of bitcoin left coinbase you can see on this chart how uncommon it is to see such a massive withdrawal for bitcoin this likely indicates a new institutional buyer some new company some hedge fund maybe a billionaire taking a big big position in bitcoin obviously it's not gonna be one account but that's a lot of money from probably one or just a couple of big institutional players also noteworthy about this purchase is that that buyer bought a massive truckload of bitcoin above $60,000, which just reminds me of what I think about the market right now, that this is, of course, not the top. Far from it. This is Bitcoin consolidating at resistance. This is Bitcoin getting ready for a massive, massive breakout. This is Bitcoin taking a nice little nap before it begins the long and slow and probably rather dramatic climb to $100,000. Very, very exciting. Now for the big news for today, Mike Novogratz's Galaxy Digital has filed a Bitcoin ETF application. This is now the ninth, the ninth Bitcoin ETF application sitting in front of the SEC in the USA. Come on, SEC, get it together, man. But this is interesting because this is actually the first one from a company that is already a provider of a Bitcoin ETF. Galaxy Digital currently sells a Bitcoin ETF in Canada. Now, does that mean that Galaxy could have a unique advantage over other ETF providers? Maybe, maybe. They do have experience, right, running a Bitcoin ETF, but 
a lot of companies have a lot of experience running a lot of different ETFs. One thing is for certain for me, a Bitcoin ETF, it's coming to the USA. It's just a matter of time. There's so much precedent already being set with Canada and Brazil and so many very high quality applications for many of the industry leaders in the ETF and the Bitcoin space. Galaxy Digital, New York Digital Investment Group, Fidelity, Morgan State, just like, it's crazy who's behind the Bitcoin ETFs right now. And when this Bitcoin ETF finally does get approved, and it will, I fully expect it to moon the entire crypto market. And of course, the Bitcoin in that situation could surge by a few hundred percent over just a few months. This is how Bitcoin gets to a two or $300,000 price tag during this cycle. You have to remember the US equity markets, biggest in the world, more than half of the total value of all stock markets in the USA. And a Bitcoin ETF gives those markets exposure to Bitcoin in a very easy, safe way. And finally for today, the Bitcoin infinite money glitch has been prophesized in the matrix by the Simpsons, by the Simpsons guys. In this week's episode of The Simpsons, a Bitcoin ticker briefly shows up on the screen showing the infinite loop symbol. So yeah, I know, I know, it's just The Simpsons, but, but The Simpsons have made a lot of eerily accurate prophecies in their episodes. Maybe it's just they talk about everything all the time over 31 years episodes. Maybe something more is going on. Okay, but seriously, seriously, I want to use this kind of silly story to talk about something much more serious, serious time, guys. And that is that there is no top to Bitcoin for the plain and simple reason that there is no bottom to fiat. All your dollars, all your pounds, all your yen, all your euros, whatever your local fancy fiat currency is, those are essentially just pieces of paper backed by a promise of we're good for it by governments. There's no gold or anything back in these currencies. It's just paper garbage. And governments, they're not good for it. They're not good for it. Most of the biggest countries in the world are desperately, desperately broke. The USA, the worst offender by far, a whopping $28 trillion in debt. Incredible. And that's just the government. That is an unpayable amount of money, which means that the USA will have to continue to be in a cycle of borrowing more money to pay down the interest on the debt, printing more money to pay their bills. It's a very vicious and negative cycle. You can see here how the purchasing power of the US dollar has continued to decline over time. A long and steady fading away of the dollar. The powers of inflation, the powers of monetary debasement, they never end. It's a continuous cycle by governments of debasing currencies. For every problem that governments have or can imagine, the answer, print more money, and of course, hand it over to your mates first, right? You gotta give it to your mates. The effect for those people who are holding their wealth in dollars, essentially it's death by a thousand cuts. This is the infinite money glitch. Governments the world over are printing currencies into oblivion. There is no bottom to how low they will debase the currencies. Savvy investors are getting out. They realize that they are losing out by holding cash. They realize that bond rates are laughably low, even negative in some countries. The case for Bitcoin, it has never been clearer. It is gold 2.0 is the ultimate new modern hedge. Right? It's the perfect hedge against the fall of fiat currencies, even better than gold in a lot of respects. It is the world's hardest asset with a hard-coded supply cap versus, of course, the infinite inflation of fiat, which knows no end. A six-digit Bitcoin, Bitcoin over $100,000, it's coming a lot sooner than you probably think. Then, of course, begins the long and slow climb up to challenge the market cap of gold around $10 trillion, $550,000 per Bitcoin. And then, maybe later this decade, Bitcoin can even go up to a million dollars. Or, well, perhaps as the Simpsons predicted, to infinity. And maybe beyond. Your question for today. On what day this year do you think Bitcoin will hit $100,000 hairs? Let me know down below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.